Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. The owner of the Guam guest house in Tumon is evicted, the last of the guests forced to leave. Our cameras capturing it all happen as Guam Fire, Guam Police and DPW officials were on scene Thursday morning. The closure, a result of multiple violations and lack of permits noted by each agency. This even though the rental operation has been in place since September 2017. So after authorities left the property, We head inside looking for the owner, Marcus Cepeda, to get some answers. Mr. Cepeda? Hey, Nick Delgado, KUAM. How are you doing? Inside is a cozy spot set up in the tourist district, fully furnished with multiple bedrooms, bathrooms, and common areas. So you can imagine the frustration Cepeda had leading up to his eviction. I have a lot to talk about. And that he did, standing firm that he did all he could to ensure his business was legitimate. I am licensed. I, I was licensed the whole time. He's upset how it all played out. I don't Let's think do it's it. fair at all. Cepeda moved his operation from Barragata Heights after he says land management gave him the okay. When I got clearance from land management, I signed my lease. I'm on a hook for a three-year lease here. And believe me, it's not cheap. He sits down with us, going through the trail of documents that date back to September of last year, whenever he was given the permit from Revan Tax for a one-room rental at the Tumon location. It was all approved. Okay. It was all approved. I'm experienced with doing the, uh, the sole proprietor, small business, home business. So I always get a license, always pay my GRT taxes. He shared that more concerns were brought to his attention from the regulatory agencies last November. Concerns he contends he worked tirelessly to correct. You know, believe me, I spent a lot of money trying to comply. In the months that followed, Cepeda would continue to book guests. His Airbnb site has since been taken down. At last check, his booking.com site was still active. Now in June, Cepeda was issued a notice of violation. Public Works concerned over the renovations they say they never approved. DPW Building Permit Supervisor Jose Guevara. He did start renovations to the space illegally without a permit. Uh, when we when we did issue the permit and he came in, he says, "Okay, Joe, we'll get the we'll get the application, we'll get a drawing, we'll turn that in." But his drawings, um, with the supporting documents, were turned in for a permit. Aside, you know, along with the permit application, those documentations must be stamped by a local professional engineer. So the drawings that he turned in initially did not have any stamps on it. Okay. Yeah. So he, he wasn't able, he wasn't able to get a stamp on it until a year later, when he was caught already acting, you know, operating that business illegally. Authorities claim he used the same specs whenever he attempted to move from Barragata Heights to the commercial building in Tumon. The situation still had Cepeda fed up. You come to a business, you see a problem. Eight months later, you address it. How does that happen? Why don't you address it right there and then, okay? You didn't. The June citation landing Cepeda in court for having an occupancy prohibited before approval and prior to fire alarm approval. Just this month, the court let him off with a warning and closed the case. Another safety concern fire officials say was the lack of windows in the bedrooms. Windows is not an issue. I have enough doors. I have three doors. I went through the process for inspection. There were some issues. I went through the process of correcting the issues. You know, everything that I was told to do, I did. And at the end, I have to vacate. He was forced to turn his guests away and refund their money. Go on Airbnb. The reviews. Five star, 130 of them. Okay, five star. Okay. That's what I lost. But the government agencies involved argued that he clearly broke the law. Do you plan to start up somewhere again? Well, I, I don't think so. You know, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to do this. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.